Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to enable and install Compiz onto Peppermint 1 and Peppermint Ice. We recommend you watch the whole video first before proceeding into any of these steps so you know what to expect. Alright, first we're going to uh, install Compiz. And to do that, we're going to do that through Synaptic Package Manager. That's located under Menu, Preferences, and in Synaptic Package Manager. And type in your password if prompted. Once it's open, go to the search bar located here and type in Compiz, which is C O M P I Z. Now we want the first result that's given to us right here. And we want to mark it for installation. You can do so by clicking the box indicated right here and then mark for installation. And when you do that, it will also install these other plugins which are needed. So click mark. And then the next one we want to have installed is Compass Config Settings Manager. And so we want to also mark this for installation. Click mark again. And then we're going to apply these settings and then click apply again. And then wait for it to run the installer. Okay, and once that's finished, you can now close Synaptic. Now it won't work, uh, Compass won't work right away with Peppermint, so you have to do a couple of tweaks to make this work. And the first tweak will deal with a terminal. So we're going to go to, a menu, to the menu, accessories, and then terminal. Then the command we're going to type in is Compiz, C-O-M-P-I-Z, followed by a space, then two hyphens, then the word replace, R-E-P-L-A-C-E. -E. Then once that's typed in, press enter. And you might notice that your panel at the top might vanish, but that's quite normal. All, all you have to do is press the top of the screen and it reappears. And you, you may or may not encounter this bug, but it's best to not close terminal right, right away or else you risk uh, crashing your system. So uh, just leave it minimized and I'll let you know when you can close it. All right, now we need to do another tweak in which if you were to make a setting change in Compass program and you reboot the system, we need to make it so Peppermint remembers those settings that you made in Compass. So to make those effective, we need to go to our file manager, then we're going to our root directory, which can be done by highlighting, highlighting until you have a forward slash in the address bar. Press enter, then go to the folder etc right here. The next folder we'll be going to is xdg, so it's a bit down here. We found it right there. Then the next folder we'll be looking for is LX session. Then your peppermint folder. And here's the file we need to edit right here. Now before we do that, we need to go to tools at the top, then open current folder as root. And once you're when once this pops up, you want to right click on auto start and open it with leafpad. And at the end of this text document, we need to add the line at compass. So that's the at symbol, C-O-M-P-I-Z, at compass. And once you do that, you can now close it and then press yes to save the changes. You can now close both these windows. And terminal should be safe to close by this time. Now we get to the core part of Compass. We get to play with it. So it's the settings manager is under menu 
preferences and then compass config settings manager and here I run through a quick demo of some things you can do with compass so let's go to effects for instance and I already have wobbly windows checked but if it's not and you check it and you get a pop-up saying uh, disable such and such uh, just press yes Place the uh, choose option has a it has a green check apply so after that you will have a little wobbly effect and maybe let's do something a bit more advanced let's go to a desktop and enable a 3d cube and what you want to do is check the checkbox for desktop cube and then check the box for rotate cube and all you have to do is to activate it you have to press press and hold down the keys of control and alt then hold down the left click mouse button then drag a cursor to make a 3d cube pretty neat and there's there's just a, a lot of options you can mess with around here to make Linux more customizable to your liking and before we end this video I'd like to give a shout out to this thread it's a thread that actually gave me the uh, information on how to enable compass and the one who it was circuit 77 who gave the steps to install and enable compass onto peppermint and so we thank you circuit 77 well that's it and thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions please comment and enjoy your compass. Thank you.